Hi, this is Melanie of Poor Daisy Reviews, and I'm here to review the Telugu film Gang Leader starring Nani. If you're new to Poor Daisy Reviews, I do film reviews and trailer reactions of Telugu, Tamil, Malayalam, and Hindi cinema. I love Nani, and I also really love Lakshmi, who I saw in the recent Oh Baby. And and so I when I saw the teaser for this and I saw Lakshmi together with Nani and they had the sunglasses on and they were doing the slow motion walk. I'm like, I don't know what this film is about, but I can't I can't wait. I cannot wait. And they were delightful together through the entire film. Nani is just he's such like a teddy bear of an actor he's just in this film he's so good he's just so adorable and this is such a different kind of a feel of a movie than Jersey which absolutely destroyed me um, I saw Jersey right after my father passed away and I did not know what I was walking into I did not know you know what the ending was going to be and it was really yeah it was so good though Nani was better than I've ever seen him this film is more just like he's just adorable he's funny he's just you know it's not the darkness that parts of Jersey were set up of the film I really don't want to give too much of the plot away but Nani is a writer of revenge novels, which we would call thrillers or mysteries. Lakshmi is part of a group of five women who <laughs> range in age from a school age child up to, you know, and uh, Lakshmi, the grandmother type. We have Priyanka Arumohan is Priya, Saranya Ponvanam, she's kind of the love interest. And then uh, Shriya Reddy is Swati. And then little Pranya P. Rao is Chinu. She was adorable, absolutely adorable. Our villain is Kartikeya. And he just has this menace about him. Like he was, he was pretty good in the villain role. I don't even want to spoil the setup. All you need to know, you know, like I said, is that you kind of saw that somehow these women come to Nani with a problem that they want him to solve because he's a writer of revenge novels. So I don't even want to spoil what it was, but this film gives you a little bit of everything. There's a lot of comedy. The op opening sequence is an amazing bank heist action kind of a sequence. There's a little, little bit of romance, which is more of the cute, adorable, you know, Nani kind of <laughs> like, you know, nanny swooning kind of romance. A little bit of, of uh, comedy with Vanilla Kishore, but basically nothing that you couldn't bring your grandmother to. It's such a heartwarming film. Part of the film is about found families. It's how this whole group of women get together, how they interact with Nani and kind of form bonds together through what they're trying to accomplish. It's a little bit of a heist movie, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. The first half with all the setup of all the characters and how they're introduced and how they interact with Nani, loved it. Second half where all of these plots and everything are coming to fruition and then, and we have a couple of little twists, a little slower, but I would say the songs, I'm still humming that rah rah whatever song it is. That's the one where they kind of do their slow motion walk with the sunglasses, love it, love that one. It's a really cute one. Uh, Hoina Hoina is around uh, the little girl Chinu and the relationships that they're all founding. I love that song too. I've been listening to them both on Savin, but it was really fun to see them in the movie and the music was well placed in the film. Ananta Sriram wrote those songs and you know it's it's kind of film where the the songs made sense where they were, advanced the plot a little bit. They weren't just you know dropped in to be a hit song in the middle of everything like they they did a good job with placing those songs and then there's a fun crazy dance number at the over the end credits that Nani does because really it's not the kind of film it's more montage kind of songs not 
stop everything and dance kind of songs. I just thought it was charming. So this is the same director, Vikram Kumar, who gave us 24 and gave us Manam. And it's just, there's so much of this film that's just feel good and comedy, the same. I'm not saying it's the same plot as Manam. I'm just saying it kind of gave you that same, oh, you know, like, like this is so sweet. This is funny. This is heartwarming kind of a feeling. And you get all these extra things too, where you have revenge plots and action scene, you know, a couple of action scenes. It's not heavy on the action. There's only one big fight scene between Nani and the villain. You know what? It was, it was earned for that moment. So I just came, I just sat there in the theater with a smile on my face through most of the film and just a good feeling when I walked out of the theater. So I'd love to know what you thought about this film, if you had a chance to see it. I hope I didn't give anything too big away. I really wanted to save the experience of sitting through and enjoying all the twists that happen when you're in the theater, and I didn't want to spoil any of that. So uh, follow me on Twitter at ProDaisyYT. Sub subscribe here to ProDaisy Reviews, and if you hit the bell when you subscribe, you'll never miss another trailer reaction or film review.